When it comes to the best female golfers from Australia, Minji Lee has to top the list. Last year, Lee won the biggest payday in women's history with her win in the US Open Championship. In this video, let's take a look at why Minji Lee is so special and what lies ahead for this young Australian golfing star. Minji Lee started playing golf at the age of just 10. Lee's mother played a crucial role in introducing her to the sport. She used to teach at the local driving range, and it was through her that Lee got her first taste of golf as a young girl. Lee was immediately drawn to the sport and quickly developed a passion for it. Despite starting later than many other professional golfers, Lee showed a remarkable natural talent for the game. She quickly progressed through the ranks and began competing in local tournaments. Her success on the course continued to grow, and she soon began to attract the attention of top coaches and talent scouts. As she honed her skills and developed her technique, Lee continued to compete at higher levels, and we can now see where she is. As she was on this road, a massive achievement came in 2010. In 2010, Minji Lee won the Western Australia Women's Amateur Championship. At the time, she was still in high school, making her victory all the more impressive. Lee displayed exceptional skill and composure, making critical shots and sinking key putts to secure victory. Winning the championship at such a young age was a remarkable achievement and marked Lee as a player to watch in the future. And so everyone watched because apart from the Western Australia Championship, she also won the Australia Championship edition in the following years. In her first victory at the tournament in 2013, Lee won by a comfortable margin of seven strokes. She put in a dominant performance, finishing with a score of 10 under par over four rounds of stroke play. She had already established herself in the golfing world, but this victory further pushed her toward greatness. Lee's success at the Australian Women's Amateur Championship continued in 2014, when she successfully defended her title. Once again, she was very comfortable in her victory, finishing with a score of eight under par over four rounds of stroke play. Following her success at the Australia Women's Amateur Championship, Lee turned professional and began competing on the LPGA Tour. But her achievements for 2014 don't stop there, because in the same year, Minji Lee also won the Victoria Open. She finished with a score of 16 under par over four rounds of stroke play. Her victory allowed her to hold the number one amateur golfer position for several weeks. Speaking of Lee's family, her younger brother, Min Woo Lee, is also a pro golfer who won the 2020 Vic Open. It made him the fourth Australian to win the tournament since it became a part of the European Tour in 2019. He put in a dominant performance, finishing with a score of 19 under par over four rounds. Though they're both very good at what they do, they're also a great duo. Now, a significant milestone was achieved by the Lee siblings when they both won the USGA Junior Championships. In 2013, Minji Lee won the US Girls Junior, and in 2016, her younger brother, Min Woo Lee, won the US Junior Amateur. While the two won three years apart, it doesn't take away from the fact that they were both incredibly dominant. Not only were these some impressive achievements on their own, but making history while doing so was a bonus. They became the first brother-sister duo to have both won the USGA Junior Championships. Lee also represented Australia at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. She competed alongside other top female golfers from around the world and was able to showcase her skills on a global stage. Her participation in the event helped to raise the profile of women's golf in Australia. It also demonstrated the prowess of Australian female golfers to the world. With so much success, Lee also made a big blunder in her career once. At the age of 20, Lee made a big blunder competing in the LPGA. She wasn't very successful and had a bad result on the challenging 18th hole of the river course. This caused her to finish in 10th place. But the bigger loss came when she forgot to sign her scorecard. This may look like an honest error, which it probably was too, but you can't just go and edit it later. This proved to be very costly for the golfer, who then went on to lose $54,000 in prize money. Not just that, she also sabotaged her progress on the CME Globe points. And that should be a lesson for golfers to remember to sign their stuff. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you can see our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.